Well, it was a busy day for Acting Education Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi, who also ordered that all school buses be painted yellow by March 30th this year. The announcement comes after Parliament proposed several changes in the management of school transport. Now, Parliament also proposed that all school vehicles have prescribed signage and operate within stipulated hours. Matiangi has also asked traffic police officers to ensure schools follow the new rules that seek to enhance the safety of school-going children. NTV's Dennis Okari with more. We have an enactment. We have a law in place that Parliament enacted in 2016. Members of Parliament last year passed the Traffic Amendment Bill, which requires all school buses to be painted yellow. And the color of school buses, which we have been playing games about. So, 30th of March is the last day any school bus will have another color other than the one prescribed by the law. This means that every school bus will look like this, with school names written in black and have other signage as may be prescribed in the wide range of changes for safety of students. And for the national administration colleagues who are here, the movement of school buses is six to six. Uh, work with your police teams to ensure that is in, enforced. <laughs> The law further proposes that the buses be fitted with safety belts designed for use by children. Other vehicles that regularly transport school children but are not school buses are however exempt from the stringent rules but will be required to adhere to traffic rules. According to National Transport and Safety Authority NTSA, school bus safety and rules and school driver recruitment should involve school stakeholders such as representatives of the Parents Teachers Association and the school administration. School bus drivers will now have to complete a written or oral test covering driver duties, bus operating procedures, traffic and school bus regulations, road emergency and first aid. Dennis Okari, NTV.